Happening today, a new memorial will be unveiled to honor Placer County deputies who gave their lives to serve and protect. KCR3's Leticia Ordaz is live in Auburn right now with more on the dedication. It's years in the making and tell us about the sheriff who made this effort a reality. Sure, this gets underway in about an hour here in front of the Placer County Sheriff's Department. It's definitely going to be an emotional day. It's also being described as a historic day. I'm here now with Sheriff Wayne Wu, and he actually came up with this project and thought it would be such a nice tribute. It's hard to believe something like that didn't already exist in the community, but you said it's about time. Yeah, no, this is such a great thing, not only for the men and women of our organization, for our community, but especially the surviving family members of these fallen deputies. And you say you have about seven of the nine families represented here today. What does that mean for them to have this kind of tribute for their loved ones? Oh, the, the response from the family members has been overwhelming. They're, they're so excited, emotional, and, and really thankful that we're ensuring that the sacrifices that their loved ones have made uh, will never be forgotten. Definitely. You shared something about wanting the stories and the legacies to live on. What are some of the stories that you can bring up that you don't think the community should forget? Well, I think, you know, it's, it's tough being a law enforcement officer. It's tough being a law enforcement officer today, but I think it's always been tough to be a law enforcement officer. You know, Placer County was founded in 1851. Our first line of duty death was in 1859. And just the first line of duty deaths that we have up here that we'll be recognizing are just some historic stories. Um, you know, one member was uh, deputy sheriff was killed in a shootout with a famous outlaw. Um, a posse was formed the next day to find the outlaw's body. Um, just uh, the, the rich history and tradition. We want to make sure that that's captured and that the, the sacrifice that these men made is never forgotten. And did you know any of the men that are the fallen? Well, I, I obviously worked with uh, Detective Michael Davis Jr. So while our first line of duty death was in 1859, our most recent line of duty death was in 2014. Uh, Sacramento County Sheriff's Deputy Danny Oliver was also killed during that incident. And so I worked with a new uh, Michael Davis Jr. very well. Sure. So the public isn't really invited today. It's more of a private ceremony, but this is here for everyone to see after it's unveiled. A hundred percent. This is here not only for the men and women of the Sheriff's Office, and for those surviving family members, but it's also here for the community. You know, whenever a, an officer is killed in the line of duty, it impacts the entire community. So it's been nine years since there's been a death, but you know day in and day out when you put on that uniform, anything can happen. Yeah, unfortunately, you know, that's the, the, the hard truth in law enforcement and especially in today's climate. But, uh, you know, we want to make sure that the men and women of this organization and this people in this community know that uh, their legacies will never be forgotten. Always remembered. Thank you so much, Thank Sheriff, you. for your time this morning. The unveiling happens here at the Placer County Sheriff's Department at 10 a.m. Expect closures in the area until about noon. Reporting live in Auburn, Leticia Ordaz, KCRA 3 News.